and welcome to my Brussels vlog. I am here with Rebecca. She is currently enjoying the hotel room. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. Just to say, I used to work at um, this hotel, well not this particular hotel obviously, but another branch and um, we are staying here. It's new. I'm very excited because it's just, it's brand spanking new basically. So yes, let's get into the room tour. So when you come in, you have Rebecca, she doesn't come with the room, just to say. <laughs> um, there's a safe, a little hairdryer, some uh, space to put your belongings, and then this is the sort of sink area, and the bathroom. There's a power shower. Power shower. Some cute little rubber ducks over there. And then if we come through here, this is the main event. with a nice graphic. Can you see that? And obviously we need a mirror for checking ourselves out. Cute little table, big flat screen TV, and then a pretty decent view of a typical Belgian street. I know it's quite dark so you can't really see, but anyway, simple yet effective. And guys, these beds, I know for a fact how comfortable they are. Cannot wait to snooze tonight, let me tell you. So, very funky corridors, I must say. I'm gonna show you guys something really, really cute. And it isn't Rebecca. Although she is pretty cute as well. Everything just smells so clean and so fresh. This is the little gallery. There's a, a, a little phone. Some information about the hotel, an ironing board there, and then you've got the tea and coffee machine and mugs and a fridge. With some milk! <laughs> Do you give up? No. I can get rid of the lines if you want. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday today. We are made up and ready for the day. We're gonna head out and find some brunch because it's about 10.45 at the moment. As you can tell, the weather is pretty decent. Obviously, we wanna see as much as possible before the sun goes down at like four. But Brussels is a small place. We're just gonna like take in the main sites, walk around. We've got a map, which the hotel kindly gave us and I've been circling some things, so should be productive. What did you say it was? It's a bit pedophilic. <laughs> it's almost uncomfortable to watch. I mean, I know it's a statue, but at the same time, like, it's inappropriate, quite frankly. Mmm, tasty. It's 
so cute. Brussels is actually a very small place, so we're trying to figure out some kind of plan because we've essentially walked around the whole of the centre. We definitely want to do a day trip to Bruges tomorrow, but then we have another two full days. So we're back at the hotel. We just um, nice spent <laughs> we just spent some time playing banana grams and drinking wine, which was fabulous. And now we're gonna go and find some frites, which is Belgium's national dish. Well, it's not really their national dish, but it's one of the foods that you associate with Belgium. So um, is it? yeah, apparently we want to cut costs, and you know, three euro fifty for dinner. I'm not complaining. It's so cute. I just love how everything is decorated. Update, we are in bed. We went out, ate some frites, and searched for entertainment. Alas, we did not succeed. Found none. Found none. It's fine. We came back, we planned our trip to Bruges tomorrow, which we're very excited about. We're gonna be out for the whole day. Just chilling now, attempted to connect to Netflix, but ça n'existe pas. I think we're just gonna have to watch something on our phones. This angle's really bad, what am I doing to myself? Good morning guys, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Apparently there are building works occurring. Anyway, we are off to Bruges this morning, we're just about to leave. The weather's looking a bit more cloudy today, but hopefully it's not going to rain. Or if it rains, I hope it doesn't rain too much. I've got my umbrella with me though, you should always be prepared.
So Rebecca and I were just walking and we sort of didn't think about where we were going. We stumbled upon this little canal and there are lots of cute boats with uh, fairy lights adorning them. So we're heading back to find some chocolate shops to buy some presents and then we're going to hopefully go and find a jazz bar or just some kind of bar really to, to get a warming beverage. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday so it's our last full day here in Belgium. However we do have quite a lot of time tomorrow because our train isn't until 7pm or so. We got up this morning a little bit earlier, we had some breakfast in the hotel. We got offered some free buffet breakfast so naturally we had to uh, accept the offer. We are going to head to Ghent today. We were umming and ahhing about where to go but we think Ghent will be a good day trip and it's also very close it takes half an hour to get there from brussels um there was another place we were considering to go which is dinon but i feel like it's a little bit further and it's quite small so we might end up just running out of things to do within one or two hours of getting there i don't know anyway i think Ghent is a shout because there's also a castle there and we haven't seen any like castles or fortresses really that's the plan for today hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog so far it's been really chill everything's been really straightforward here like it's very easy to navigate our way around the city and around belgium everyone's very friendly there's a decent amount of things to do but i think maybe in the summertime it would be nicer to explore more of the countryside note to self come back in the summertime anyway let's uh head on out here we go. <laughs> we have reached Ghent and there are bicycles in abundance. Bicycles everywhere. I love trams guys. I think we should um, bring trams to, to England. Guys, the houses here are so cute and it's so quiet everywhere. I guess we are walking towards the centre of town but it's very peaceful. It's very lovely. Hello. So we're back at the hotel. It's about quarter to twelve, I want to say. It's quite late. No, it's past twelve. Sorry, alarm clock. <laughs> it's what? quite late, essentially. But when we left Ghent, nothing of interest happened to us. We pretty much just... It's 12.29. Is it really? Mm. We pretty much just floated back to the hotel and we spent so long trying to figure out what to eat. And then, eventually, we just ended up getting some free grub down in the restaurant, courtesy of, um... <laughs> no names. <laughs> no names, no names, no names. I'm not going to disclose any information. <laughs> but needless to say, guys, we were taken care of. And um, we just spent yet another evening playing banana grams <laughs> and drinking. Uh, well, I drank one cocktail. Rebecca didn't push the boat out very far. We just spend most of the time sitting in the restaurant, people watching and trying to like steal chocolates from the pub. Mm. 
Belgian truffles, come on mate, like, and breadsticks, though they're not nearly as interesting. Yeah, just chilled back in the room for a little bit and I feel like I'm talking so loudly, there's literally like a whole group of old people that have come to stay at the <laughs> hotel and they all went to bed at like 9pm, so I'm sorry if I've woken anyone up with my vlogging. Not but I just that. thought I would update you guys because, you know, that's what we do. That's what we like to do in these vlogs. Tomorrow is our last day. How do you feel? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Bittersweet. Yeah, mixed emotions. But because we're ready to go back, though. Yeah, I feel ready to go back as well. Yeah. Like, But it's been so nice to just kind of get away, see a different place that isn't, like, totally different from where you're from. But, like, just explore new things, just spend time together, just like, I don't know, just have a different, a change of scenery, that's what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say. Like, it's nice that you can just do that. If you can, just do it. Like, yeah, you don't need to go far. Anyway, before this ends up being a really long clip, um, we're gonna go to sleep, and we do have most of the day tomorrow, so we will still be up to some hopefully fun things tomorrow. Before we catch the train in the evening, good night. It's a beautiful day outside. Travelling hack, guys. If you can find meal deals that work in your favour, do it. We got a soup, a baguette, and a drink for like eight euros. But I'm gonna eat the soup now and then save this for lunch. That's like my whole day kind of done. Rebecca wants to leave. <laughs> it's quite dark, so you can't really see, but it's a big pagoda. Rebecca and I have come to the outskirts of Brussels to find a nice park to walk around in because, you know, it's a nice day. We want to sit by a lake and eat our lunch and just chill. Need to get away from this bloody highway, though, first. No, guys, I'm actually done out here. How is the park closed? Like, we've been looking for so long to find this entrance here, yeah? and all I see is walls and barbed wire. How is this a park? How is this a public park? It's massive, and there's not one entrance, or if we do find an entrance, it's bloody closed. I'm so baffled. So instead, we have come to this weird metallic atomic ball structure thing, because we don't know what else to do with our life. <laughs> but apparently you can sit in one of those balls and, and get a good view. So hopefully this doesn't cost us a million euros. Alright, so that atomic ting was like 15 euros to go into. <laughs> and um, we're on a budget. We're on a budget. If we did want to go to the restaurant, I don't think they even offered any coffee. And the wine was like 22 euros. Why is this not focusing? Everything's just going wrong today. We're just getting catfished by places. <laughs> but you know what, guys? This happens when you're travelling. I always like to reiterate this point. Not everything goes according to plan. Yeah, is that a restaurant? Are you still not focusing? <laughs> it is what it is. My hair looks awful, but we're rolling with it. Now, we've got a couple of hours. Rebecca needs to get some more chocolate and some traditional sweets. So we'll probably just head back into town after we find somewhere to sit in this park and eat our baguettes. Baguette. Baguette. So yeah, that's the 411. It stinks! <laughs> so we're back at the hotel now and we're just waiting to leave. We tried to go to a rooftop bar and inevitably it was closed. We're now just chilling before we go to catch the train. One last look at the uh, cuteness of the hotel. <laughs> 